Hello, teacher. Okay, hello, Lin. Good evening, Lin. Yeah, good evening, Lin. Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Okay, so today we're going to have Unit 9C for Elementary Solution. Okay, how are you today? Sorry, Lin, I cannot uh, open my camera because the internet is so slow. When I open my camera, I cannot, it will become so loading. So I need to off my camera. Oh, wait, okay. Huh? okay, I will try my laptop. Okay, so we have here the listening. I will try to off Lin ha. So my internet will be will not getting loading. Okay, so we have here university. Oh, university accommodations. We have here the accommodations. It's a place to live, work, or stay in. Hall of Presidents, it's a building for university or college students to live in. Canteen, and a place where you food, eat a food and drink I serve. University, it's an institution at the highest level of education. And plot, a set of rooms for living in, usually on the one floor of the building. And landlord, a person or company, from whom you rent a room, a house, and an office. Okay, it's landlord, like when you rent apartment, the owner of that is landlord. Okay, so here, Lynn, what do you think? Can you please describe, answer the question below? So we have two questions. Can you please try to answer that? Oh, teacher, we have to do this already. Are we done? Yes. Wait me. How about this? Finished? Yes, yes. This one also? Yes. Maybe we are now in nine this is nine C. Okay, let us have 90. Okay, wait, Lynn, for a minute.
Okay, like this one. Oh, wait. Okay. So, this one, Lynn. Okay, in the middle of nowhere. Okay. So, it means you are in the middle of something or from somewhere that you don't know. So, when you say peaceful, not involving a war, okay, violence or argument, it's peaceful. Tropical, okay, like coming from, found in typical of tropics, like uh, Philippines has a tropical weather. Farm, okay, it's a tree, it's a kind of tree. Supply, it means amount of something that is provided or are available to be used. Okay, wreck, damage. When you say it's wreck, it is badly damaged. Okay, fuel, any material that produces heat or power. Remote, far away from places where other people live. Crime, okay, so when you break the law, that's crime. Instrument, it's an object used for producing musical sound. For example, a piano or a drum. Okay, that's instrument. So this one. In test one, you look at the photo of Palmerstone, an island in the Pacific Ocean lane. You describe it using the adjectives and nouns below and your own ideas. Okay, you can write your answer in the chat box about what you can say about Palmerstone Island. can I say that? Okay, yes. Uh in in the uh, an island in the Pacific Ocean is where the weather is sunny and is a uh, beautiful pictures. The ocean a palm tree that I mean palm tree in in the in anywhere and the sun are pretty okay. okay so you can see this one that it has a clear Okay, beautiful beaches. So, okay, you can see that one. Okay, Palmerstone Island is a remote place. It's very far from the city. But you can see the beach is beautiful. Okay, look at that. The sand is white and beautiful. Okay. So, we have here, okay, what would you like to live in Palmerstone? Would you like to live in Palmerston Island? Actually, uh, I have a video here in the YouTube. We can find here all about Palmerston Island. Okay, It is one of the hardest places in the world to visit. I don't know if today it will be the same. First, you have to fly to Tahiti, an island in the South Pacific Ocean Lane. Then you have to travel by boat for nine days. Imagine, ha? Huh? During that time, you hardly see every another boat or plane. 
And the a final part of the journey is the most dangerous because of the rocks. So over the years, they have caused hundreds of boats to sink. You can still see some of the wrecks on the beaches. But finally, you arrive at a tiny tropical island of Palmerstone, part of the Cook Island. The islanders love visitors and look after them well. The island is very beautiful with white sandy beaches and clear blue water. There are no cars. The main road in Palmerstone is only about 100 meters long and it's made of sand. Oh, it's only about six buildings. There is a small school. There are no shops. The families on Palmerstone don't use money in their daily lives. When you run out of price, you ask your next door neighbor. They only use money to buy things from other countries. A ship visits the island twice a year and brings basic supply like rice and fuel. The islanders need money to pay for this. So they, what they did? They try to catch fishes. Oh, they catch, wait, catch and feed fish. But sometimes the ship doesn't come. So recently, 18 months passed without visit from the ship. But that wasn't a problem. They could eat coconut and fish. Oh my God. Oh, very hard. These days, the islanders access the internet for one or two hours a day. They can even get a mobile phone signal sometimes. And these days, about everyday experience like visit to dentist can be a problem because the islander is so remote. The nearest dentist is on Ro Rarotonga, the capital of Cook Island. And when the dentist has finished, he sometimes have to wait six months for the boat home. Some of the islanders love the remoteness and think their home is paradise. But others have decided to leave. So in the past 50 years, the population of Palmerston has dropped from 300 to 62 only. About 20 of these are children. Their life is very happy and relaxed. But as they get older, some of them want the university education. They often plan to come home again after studies. But in reality, they rarely return. They don't like Palmerston because it's very far. But for the people who stay on the island, daily life is so easy. Nobody works very hard and it's a lot of free time. In the evening, children swim in the beautiful blue ocean or play volleyball on the beach. The adults watch TV. There is only one TV on the island. Or chat. There is a policeman on Palmerstone, but there is not any crime. So he makes musical instruments instead. Oh, so in this place, there is no policeman. Okay. So, Lynn, I want you to see how Palmerston today. Let us watch a video. I will uh I will search a video about Palmerston. Okay. Okay, Lynn. I will find a video about Palmerston. Oh, okay, teacher. Today. Let us check if what we hear are what we read is still the same today. Palmerston Island today. Okay. I will share the video. Let us see if still the same. Oh, that's four years ago. This four years. Two months ago. Okay, let us check this one. Can you see this, Lynn? Yes, teacher.
Oh, the first day that we signed up for Monday.com, our department was already able to connect our processes, our software, actually everything into one centralized place. So the first day. Before Monday.com, our teams worked on different platforms. We couldn't find stuff. Things were falling through the cracks. Monday.com didn't just close these gaps. They sealed them shut. Like every detail of our work now has a place on a platform that's easy to use. That means that anybody in the department can easily track any process or project. At any given time, I can rely on Monday.com to tell me who's working on what and where everything stands. It's made our team faster, more agile. We're just better. <laughs> Okay. This fish, this fish got this. Ah. Wind. Lots and lots of wind. Six solid days of gale force winds. And this is what riding out a blow looks like. We're mostly self-sustainable, practically our own floating tiny island, and we're used to being at sea for days on end. But there's something about being close enough to see and smell land, but not set foot on it. Staying busy isn't a problem, and there's always that element of anxiety to keep things interesting. Will our mooring line break? Will our neighbors? What if they hail us in the middle of the night? Is the radio loud enough to wake us up? You know, wash, rinse, and repeat. It's all very Groundhog Day. I'm reliving the same day over and over. Okay, you can see this one? Yes. Oh, this one. Look at the sand. The winds died down enough to make it to shore, and much like it's the rest of the world, nice. mom and dad head off to work, and the kids go to school. Come on, guys, let's go. Okay. Lead the way. Yes. Oh, I'm in. I'm going to choose this one. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Our first lanes and they're leaves, but we can eat them. Mm -hmm. And what do they taste like? La. They taste like um good leaves. Like good leaves? <laughs> Already grown up a uh, vegetable in the backyard. Come on it to make the cucumbers. What do you do? This one? We have to um, uh, put it inside. Hello. Here. You know, this one is already pollinated. See? That's how do we pollinate. Cool. Wow, that's so cool, Henry. I know. I know. This one is so already humble. pollinated. How many little kids do you know that could identify which flower on a plant is male and female? And the only reason they know that is because there's no bees on this island. So they have to pollinate all of their own flowers for anything to grow and to have food. And I think that's incredible. I didn't know that. I learned something new today. It's cool. You can keep it. really neat to see such a small island. I mean, you step into that classroom and you feel like you're going way in the past by, I don't know, just the way that they're being taught, all the kids, different ages. But then you see little hints of the future, talking about the reef and saving the planet. 
saving water and then you walk outside and there's this massive solar array well massive for a small island of 30 people and they're doing rain capture and all this stuff so it's kind of like the future and the past sort of combined here on this tiny little island it's okay it's, really, it's a it's tiny really little island being described look at the place if you were gonna look up here if you were gonna read oh it seems Let's that up until now to a place where fiction look at the goes. island it's so small Look at that, so many coconuts. You ready for this? It's gonna be hardcore. Ah. Ooh, that one scored you out. Best coconuts I've ever had in my life. They're so sweet here. It's, you would swear there's sugar in that. They're so good. Ta-da! I could survive on an island. With a machete. With a machete. Baby chickens are coming for your coconut. So I've been told. Let's risk the quiet next. Take a chance on happiness. I hear it's only a nine month wait. A man shakes your hand in a kid. I used to do the cement. The cement? You helped build this? Yeah, but I only helped doing the stairs. Only helped doing the stairs? And painting. And stairs. when do you, what's this building for? If I'm, um, uh, there's, if there's big, um, uh, waves coming, we have to come over here and go inside. And go inside. Where the waves can't get off. Cyclone. Do you call it a cyclone or do you call it a hurricane, Henry? Hurricane. Call it a hurricane. Mm. Have you experienced a, um, a cyclone? Look at that place, Lynn, if you were gonna This tag. is Arthur. I really like Arthur. And like everyone on this island, he's a jack of all trades and in particular, administration. Uh. He's a philosophical character with one foot rooted in tradition and the other in the future. He shared so many stories about the island, what it was like for his parents and his grandparents, but most passionately, he talked of his concern for the future. And on an incredibly isolated island with a dwindling population, I can't blame him. The internet connection here is surprisingly good, oh, and the supply that. ships have increased visits. Oh, and with those supply um, ships come increasingly uh, uh, cheap, easy, and convenient oh, mass-made that. goods. Really cruel Why tend and harvest when you can simply pop open a bag? Is so I'll give you this scenario. When I returned back, I saw my older brother and I said, let's get back down to the puraka and let's tend to our puraka and get the puraka going, please. He said, there's no value in it. The kids don't eat it. They don't eat puraka anymore. And I said, all we have to do is maintain it. I said, mum, uncles and grandma, and them, they did all the hard work. All we have to do is for the future. There is no value in the future for puraka. If there was a food crisis in the world today, a food crisis, where there is, say, rice production is gone. It's gone, you know, and you're left with the local food. What would what would the people in the Cook Islands, out islands, would do? No, they won't. No. No, they won't. What the new generation will do, they will flee, because they're not accustomed to eating puraka, to eating breadfruit. If you go and see what they're eating today, is chips, mm -hmm. potato chips. It's rice. That's what they're accustomed to. Get them to eat breadfruit. Yeah. So, you know, when you talk about now, we're talking about resilience and building resilience and sustainability, uh, uh, food security. For the next generation. For the, for the next generation. Well, the next generation are already accust uh, accustomed to all the imported food stuff. And it's hard so to that, fight that. No, you, you, you can't, you, you know. So, yeah, you're on a losing battle. And let's face it, as dreamy as all of this is, with access to the internet and channels like Pro Home Cooks and French Guy Cooking, the novelty of living off coconuts would eventually wear thin. 
But one thing the natives nor any YouTuber can balk about is the fresh fish. Look at that! Barrel, full in the barrel. Oh, in the barrel. Beautiful. Wow. That is a hole. What kind of fish are these? Mother. Mother. It's a big one. What is that? Big one. I don't want that one. It's a. It's a. In a. Well, not a very pit, but what you call a uh, pond. In the fish, in this fish, this fish got this. Ah. And we take it up and we eat it like a human being. Fish has been Palmerston's main export and source of income for a very long time. But warming seas and an insatiable demand make that job harder every year. what we describe about Palmerston. So if I were going to ask you, Lynn, would you like to live in this remote island? Yes, I do. Oh, why? Why do you think you want to, you still want to live? Because the, I like the fresh air in the island and uh, the beach is very beautiful. Okay, so the place is the place is nice. It's remote. It's uh like you can relax, but it's far. Okay, so here, so next one. So look at the sentences lean below. Does each sentence underline word refer to the people, things, places, or situations or event idea? Example, things. Okay, look at letter B, C, D, A, F, G. What does it refer?
Okay. Yes. Okay. So this one is place. Very good. Here, place. They. People. Correct. There. Okay. Of course, that's place. There. Okay. It takes four days to each eat by a boat. Place. Okay. It's event. Eat. They understand that situations, correct? This situation, this means, so this situation means, okay, one mistake only, very good. So look up here, another, match the gaps in the text with the sentences. There are two extra sentences. Okay, so look at this. Letter D. Oh, next one. Letter C. Oh, letter C. Next one. Letter A. Okay, next one is letter G. Four is E. It takes four days to eat, eat by a boat. And G, this means going abroad to study. Okay. Okay. So this one... Okay, in gap one, there refers to tiny tropical island of Parmelston. So, in gap one. So, there it means you refer to the Palmerston, the place. In gap two, they, this one, refers to the families. Okay, they. So, they refer to the people, the family of Palmerston. In gap three, them, okay, them, then they sell them refers to the frozen fish that they try to catch and then sell it to the sheep that will go to their place every six months. And for it refers to Rarotonga. So for it, it takes four days to each eat in the Rarotonga. Rarotonga, this is the city or the capital of Cook Island in which they can find there the Dentist. Okay. And got five. This refers to getting university education. Some others, uh, teenagers and men and women, boy and girl, doesn't like to go back to Palmerston because they means going abroad to study. So this, the university education, they will go and they will not rarely come back because they already find a job okay so that's all for tonight lynn and oh i will see you on tuesday right lynn okay, yeah 
Yeah, I will have, we will stop until, we will continue until task six next week. Okay, that's okay. 9B. Okay, thank you, Lynn. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Good night.